Are you guys ready for a new giveaway? Eh, eh look who in the reflection there now. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com, guys. That is a crystal cake server. I'm gonna hit all your peep inside. Dress up nice, eh? Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Stay tuned. The end of the video, I will tell you guys how you can win this wonderful crystal cake server. Today we're doing something very traditional, very country, you, real old school. This is, and what I have here is conks. River snails or river conks. I remember as a kid, we would go down to the ravine and the river and stuff like that and catch these. I didn't like it. I didn't care for it eating it, but catching them, it was like little prizes. So today we're doing curry conks in celebration of our 300 video. We've been doing this a while now here on YouTube. So we're doing one of the most classic old school dishes. So we're going way back, way back to Cali. And we're bringing one for you guys. And we've got this wonderful cake slicer server crystal giveaway. So here we go. And first up, guys, this is this has been washed. They've been trimmed and washed. Luckily, I got them at the Asian store here, of all places in Canada. Um, I was kind of like surprised when I stumbled upon them. Here's the thing. In the Caribbean, we're accustomed to washing seafood and meats with lime juice, lemon juice, and vinegar. Uh -uh. Don't use any of that in there. It will just make it tough. All I did was some water, some all-purpose flour. Mixed it around, drained it, rinsed it, and the flour is going to make it nice and clean for us. Uh, we're going to go in with some Caribbean green seasoning. And all the ingredients I use here today will be mentioned down in the description of the video. And the video will also be, uh, the, the recipe will be also posted on CaribbeanPod.com. We'll go in with that fresh ground black pepper. Some salt. And I've got here a bit of scotch bonnet pepper that I chopped up. We need that nice little kick. And all we're going to do now is give that a stir. Mix it up all nice and lovely and let it marinate for about an hour or so. I've got a nice heavy pan on a medium heat. I'm going to go in with some oil. And you can use vegetable oil, that is cool. And I've got some sliced onion, some diced up onion. And some thinly sliced garlic. And I am using quite a bit of garlic today because curry and garlic, they go hand in hand. I'm just going to turn that heat down and let that go for about three minutes or so. I've got a couple of thin slices of ginger skin and everything. Don't study that. Normally, well, traditionally, a wet curry paste is made like a sort of a slurry with water and tossed in there. But I like using a dr the dry curry method. Because I want to toast that curry powder and bring out all those wonderful spices which make up the curry powder to really bloom and do its thing. So again, low heat, my heat is still on low and we're just toasting this down for about three minutes or so to get that raw curry taste out of the curry. Your kitchen should have that wicked scent of a good curry base going. It will go darker, it will go grainy, and you will start seeing the oil come back that we started off with. If your pot is overly dry, you can go in with another tablespoon or so of that vegetable oil. I'm going to crank my heat up to like medium high, and this is where we're going to go in with that seasoned conch. quickly came up to a boil. I'm just going to move that around. Notice how much liquid we got already from it. And the key here, this is going to take a long time to cook. Guys, this is as gamey a, a meat as I've ever cooked on here. So what I'm going to do is turn my heat down to a sort of a, a simmer, put the lid on there and let that go for about 15 minutes. Now it's time to really infuse this meat, the conch meat here. And guys, this is not ocean conch, this is land conch. This is, I'm going to say pretty much snails. 
<laughs> no lie. So I'm gonna turn up that heat now. I wanna burn off all that liquid and to really infuse it with all those uh, flavors from the curry powder as well as that Caribbean green seasoning. In the meanwhile, you wanna boil about three cups of water. So we've got all that liquid burnt off that uh, sprung naturally. And it will look as though it's burnt on the edges here, but that, all of that is good flavor. Don't study that. Just gonna move that around. And it's important here that you use boiling water straight out of a kettle because as with um, adding cold water, it will just shock it and make it all hard. This is a very tough something to break down. So in goes that water. I'm gonna bring that up to a boil and then we're gonna um, reduce it to a rolling boil and let that go for about an hour and a half to two hours. We're down to our last five minutes or so you can see most of that liquid is already gone. It's thickening up nicely. And there goes a plane overhead. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that but somebody's heading out of the country. I'm gonna go in with some chopped scallions. And I have here some chopped tomato from my garden. That's just to brighten this thing up. And here's the thing guys, traditionally this is done where there is no gravy left in the pot, but today I'm eating this with, well, I mean, this you can eat it with rice, you can eat it with ground provision like yam, cassava, dashi, and edos, or in my case today, I'm eating with roti, so I need a little bit of gravy. So I'm just gonna reduce that a little bit more down, and then that's it, it's all done. So there we go, it's all done. Check for salt near the end. Now on to the giveaway. This is the crystal cake server. It's gotta love that solid handle. Let's look at that. Nice crystal. Mm. To enter your name to win that, being this is a recipe which would be considered very old school and something a lot of people would probably turn their noses to being that it's conks or snails, river snails, massive ones though. I want you guys down in the description below, mention one dish that was very daring for you to eat. So in my case, I mean to say I've had croc uh, alligator, I've had iguana, I've had possum, I've had squirrel. Anything out of the ordinary that you guys have ever tried down below Hey, tarantula, crickets, I've had it all, man. Enter down below, tell me what it is. One name will be drawn randomly and I will mention the winner on August 15th on my Twitter feed. So tune in on Twitter, enter below, tell me one thing you've um, eaten that's not common and you guys will be automatically entered to win this um, wonderful prize. Have a good one, guys.